urinating on Jewish uh, 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 graves. I mean, that's I mean, that's that's trendy. I mean, that that that's come on. Don't be anti-Islam. Okay, you're supposed to give up all your right and hate all Muslims who aren't involved in this. But then when the real Al Qaeda is put in, they're good guys. Okay, I mean, come on, come on. It's freedom. The absurdity is just driving me over the edge here. Okay, let's get into a Daily Caller article. Exactly my thoughts yesterday. I never even got to this. Arizona congressman administration has declared war on Arizona. And they have. Uh, already all over the country, most cities, 800 plus, will not arrest illegals for drunk driving, no insurance, but citizens have the book thrown at them. And I've talked to people inside the prosecutor's office who've come to my office, high level, off record, and said, oh, it's worse than you think. They, get, they tell them to give $10 fines to the illegals, no ID even needed. <laughs> That's why all these criminals from Mexico come up here, you know, like the railway serial killer who killed dozens of people. And he, he would get arrested all the time, but had all these fake names. Now they're announcing they're, they're going to make a bunch of illegals legal. No judge, no jury, no Congress, violate the law Obama is. And now they're telling Arizona, we don't care what you arrest illegals for. We're never picking them up. Rape, robbery, uh, anything. I mean, this already goes on in Houston. Reports hundreds of thousands. You heard me right. Look it up. Hundreds of thousands a year in that county metro area. When I saw the headline years ago, I couldn't believe it. It's over several hundred thousand released, and many of them aggravated felons. And it said arson, rape, robbery. I mean, look, look, if you're an illegal alien, you can come here and grab kids off the street and go kill them, women off, rob banks, five, six welfare checks. You are God. But if you're a citizen, you are the lowest dirt of the planet. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you're, you're, you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian. If you're an illegal alien in this country right now, you are God. God. And if you try to come here legally, you are trash. So uh, there is that report, and they are announcing, uh, listen, we're, we're going to make the illegals legal, and when you arrest them for crimes and want them deported, we ain't picking them up, Jack. This has already been going on. I'm glad it's out in the open now. This is the totally lawless criminal government we have. Let me continue, though. I got to say it. When people do the right thing, I've got to give them credit. Um, Boehner, the Speaker of the House, the Speaker of the House, Boehner, says they will go ahead with contempt vote against Mr. Fast and Furious. They say uh, the House will move forward with a contempt of Congress voting against Attorney General Eric Holder over the botched gun trafficking operation known as Fast and Furious. Uh, that's like saying Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer grabbed teenagers off the street and killed them, and it was botched. It wasn't it only got botched because he got caught. I mean, right here, it wasn't the only reason they got botched is because they got discovered. It goes on. Uh, here is another one: The New American Issa gun control agenda behind Fast and Furious. The, the memos that have been out for eight months uh, are now public. Uh, I mean, they're now good. I can't believe this is actually covering it. There may be a real war inside the power structure. We can use this to really get a bunch of these people in prison. It could happen like Nixon, but Nixon was an angel cake compared to Obama. People are like, but wait a minute, it's left right paradigm. Listen, listen, if Mitt Romney does anything like this, if he gets in, I'm going to say throw him in jail. This keeps them honest. This scares these tyrants. This backs them off before they run off and start World War III. Good, good. Arrest all of them. They are not invincible. Arrest John Corzine for MF Global. Go after them. Arrest them. Arrest them. Arrest them. It's time. And push Obama into staging a false flag. We're going to expose it to you this time. We're, we're watching. Our people are everywhere when you put the underwear bomber drugged out of his mind on the plane. Witnesses said he could hardly talk and was drooling. Your little Manchurian idiot. That the State Department admits they were ordered to get on the plane and give him the, the visa. He didn't even have a passport. We have you now. You understand? We have you, and there's nothing going to stop us because we don't have any choice. They're going to ruin and wreck everything. They got re-education camps shut up. They got the military ready to go live on us. We're just going to wake the military up. You ever heard the saying from Korean War when the Marines were surrounded and a famous commander, I forget his name. Guys, look it up. They said, uh, sir, we are completely surrounded. And he said, good. Don't let any of them escape. Do you realize how good it is to be completely surrounded with the enemy out in the open? You can't miss. The targets are 360 around you. You can only fight when you're cornered. That's when you've got the moral authority. That's when you've got it all. People think that's a ridiculous statement. Good, don't let any of them surrender. 
Don't let any of them escape. That's the whole point. Draw them out. Get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get it all out in the open, you New World Order trash. You got to be in it to win it. You got to be committed. You got to say, come on, you want it, you got it. Anything you want, you got it. Come on, we're not, we're tired of this creeping around business. Why do you think for over a week they shut down all the groping at the airports when people were going to opt out? They didn't want to give you a chance to show it was all a fraud. So here it is. Uh, Issa is saying it's, it, uh, the, well, wow, thank you for actually saying it was a false flag. The headline should be Issa admits Issa says documents show it was a false flag to demonize the Second Amendment. And, and, and the memos that are public now admit they were going to ban semi-autos, bare minimum new sales of them, and then try to make you register the others. They tried last year to ban all shotguns that, that can uh, bottom load. Remember that? No law, just, oh, we're just going to do it. You see, you see, these people aren't invincible, ladies and gentlemen. They're a bunch of cockeyed bullies. Look at this. Here's another one. CNN sinks to 21-year primetime ratings low in second quarter. Oh. U.S. Army admits troops conducting law enforcement is illegal. Big article, Paul Joseph Watson. That's at Infowars.com. Get this out. This is powerful weapons of truth. Okay, enough from me. Let's, uh, let's go to some phone calls now. And then I got all this other news. Okay, good. So, 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 we are completely surrounded. Good, we can attack in any direction. And what general was that in Korea? You just actually put it on screen, and I can just read it. That's the uh, best way to do it. There you go. Uh, quotable quote. And I, and and then I don't. There it is. It's army officer. Yeah, no, I've seen it credited. That was General Oliver P. Smith. Yeah. Sir, we're surrounded. Excellent. We can attack in any direction. Absolutely. Good. Good. People think that sounds crazy. That's what you want. Get them out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it on. Come on. Try to get our guns. Come on. Implode the world economy. Pose as the saviors. We're going to expose you. See, they've already pulled the trigger, though, folks. In fact, I'm going to get to that later. Remember last week, Larry Summers, who helped engineer this, comes out and says, Avoiding a global catastrophe, and he says it probably can't be avoided in the Washington Post. Big banks craft living wills in case they fail. CNBC, they're getting ready to implode everything, folks. Uh, mediation fails, pushing Stockton towards bankruptcy. Biggest city to go bankrupt yet. All part of the plan. We've got to expose who did this. Dean in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex. Hey. All of us love you, my friend. Well, we love you, brother. What's on your mind? You are the modern-day Paul Revere. No, I'm not. Share. Go yes, ahead. you are. I want to share a few things with you, my friend. I went to an Appleseed Project event this past weekend. I shared your InfoWars cards with everyone. But some of those Appleseed event attenders are kind of still in the dark. And I, I, I stressed uh, the importance of the magnitude of what's going on and that they really need to wake up. And for and those that don't know, for those that don't know, tell folks what an Appleseed event is. Well, it's just uh, encouraging everyone to uh, remember the spirit of 1776 and what our founders fought against. And it has magnitude and modern-day implications, as you know, for today. Well, you're right that, that everybody should go out and get rifle training. They do these programs all over the country. I've had the director of it on, who's an old vet. Great thing to do. The rifle is just incredible. And everybody needs to learn how to use a rifle at 100, 200, 300 yards, it's as easy as kiss my hand. And I'm going to get the Appleseed Director Project leader back on. And then we should all go to Appleseed events and use those as recruiting grounds to unlock people's mind to the next level. Yes. Anything else, sir? I'd like to share one more thing, Alex. I yeah, stay there. Stay there. Come, we're going to come back. We're going to go to Lawrence, Ray, Rob, Chris, and others ahead of a guest we've got coming on with Bombshell Info. Stay with us. Would it save you time to get the best quality... You mean banker agents. Whether you're a good federal agent or not, individually, the country was taken over a long time ago. And if you love the republic and want it back, you've got to admit, foreign banks have taken the country by fraud. They brag they've done it in Europe. They brag they've done it here. In all their publications, they laugh at us as they engage in hardcore crime. And if we sit here and put up with it, that's our problem. We're not going to put up with Fast and Furious. 
Holder, all these criminals, the, the head of Homeland Security, they need to all go to jail. That's how you signal the world that criminals aren't in control of this country anymore. Jail, jail, jail. They hate this country and our freedom so much they did it to blame the Second Amendment. Put them in prison. And believe me, nobody else gets up here and talks like that. Folks, I'm risking my life because there's no future if we don't stand up to these people. We've got to beat them. Do you know where they want to take us? They've built stinking re-education camps. The Army admits the documents we got are real and says we're not supposed to have them. You understand? They got re-education camps for you. It's not for the Muslims that they scapegoat. The, the, the hardcore mu globalist Muslims work for them. Figure it out. It's for you. It's for you. There's so many globalists and collaborators. I said we release all the nonviolent people out of prison and just put them in prison. Give them their give them their jury trial, everything. But put on, I mean, I guarantee you, I could get up before a jury, put these different globalists, different banker heads, different politicians up, put Obama on the stand. Did you write the letter saying the UN commands our military? I'd read from the Constitution. That is treason. Jury, how do you find? Judge, you give us the sentencing. Or jury, give us the sentencing. It's real easy. I could convict as a prosecutor all of them right now. I could go in there in one hour in front of the jury and destroy all these people. Their crimes are so public. I'm ranting. I'm sorry. Dean in California. Go ahead. What was your other point, sir? So, Alex, one last thing. 1776, we really need to reawaken this. And coming up on 4th of July, uh, here's what I'm doing. I'm wearing your 1776 shield shirt. I'm going to be out there at our local town Fourth um, of July celebration. I'm going to be handing out your cards. I have flyers uh, and uh, giving people the links to all of your movies: Obama Deception, Fall of the Republic, Invisible Empire, Endgame. It's going to say, "Wake up to the tyranny, engage your fellow Americans, and remember the spirit of 1776." Absolutely. That's why they. I saw an article I didn't get to in the Army Times of all places bad-mouthing the War of 1812 and saying we lost and making fun of the U.S. And I went, my memory is most historians said we won that, and it was a very righteous war against our people being kidnapped on the high seas and stuff and pressed. And I went and refreshed my memory, and most historians, I saw the votes on the historical sites, nine out of ten even in foreign sites say we won that. And here was Army uh, slash publications saying we lost a war and that we were stupid and the president was stupid. Uh, it's just it, the, the, the traitorousness that I see out there. I appreciate your call. God bless you. It's just unbelievable. Uh, let's talk to Lawrence in Virginia. You're on the air. Welcome. Uh, good afternoon, Alex. Hey, buddy. I have, a, I have a question and a comment. Actually, a statement. First, um, do you really believe that there's actually going to be an election in November between Romney and Obama. I think anything is possible. They are getting ready. That's what I was going to cover later for the collapse of society. There's no doubt they've never been more dug in and ready for it. I mean, I'm telling you, if people aren't getting pins and needles, if people don't have the hair all over the back of their neck standing up, they're, they don't have any, any connection to discernment. Or reality, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um... What 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 I what I wanted to bring up actually was about the TV. I think I think other people said it before, but people really need to turn that thing off. Um, I talk to people that watch it all the time, and it, when you listen to them speak, it's like they're they're parroting uh, a news anchor. It's crazy, totally brainwashed. No, that's what they do. They're in a subconscious sleep level. Stay there. This is important. Back in one minute. All right, coming up, establishment media is getting people ready for a total collapse where they'll pose as saviors, but it's getting really creepy. We're continuing with your calls now. i got a guest on for about 40 minutes or so, then we'll continue with calls right through to the end of the show and a bunch of other world news we haven't gotten to yet. Uh, but right now, let's go back to Lawrence in Virginia. Lawrence, uh, you were talking about, and you got cut off by the break, people that are big TV watchers, the average adult thinks it's four and a half hours.